Welcome to SVO Free News and Views for a special edition of SVO Free News and Views. And I'm going to introduce my guests in just a minute. But first of all, I'm going to uh, thank all of our sponsors Mitchell College, Randy Marion, Piedmont Healthcare, Blue Harper Bank, Fast Fields, Key to Escape, The Escape Room, Statesville Family YMCA is where we are today, and also Crossroads Cycling. I'm very pleased to introduce my guest today, Patrick McNeely. Patrick, how are you doing today? Doing well. And thank you for coming on the show. And I had Patrick on because I think he had such an interesting life story that I wanted to share with everybody out there. And he has two major events that have happened in his life that not everybody would have. And plus, what you would do if you're faced with something like this and how you overcome it. So, first of all, Patrick, I met you in the gym. And I noticed when you were in the gym, you were limping a little bit. And I think people are just naturally curious sometimes. Is this something that happened when you were a child? Or did it happen later? And explain to the folks what happened to your leg. I was in a car wreck in December 15, 2015, where I rolled a truck off a bridge down a 13-foot embankment into the creek bed below. And I broke my neck, damaged my spine, leaving me paralyzed from the neck down initially. Yeah. And you were given, as you, you were telling me, the doctors gave you a very slim chance of a full recovery, much less. And it, at some point, they were just skeptical if you could, would even make it. It, it was a tough road to recovery, that's for sure. I had a collapsed lung, some internal organ damage, and uh, very little control of my body at that point. And how long were you in critical care or intensive care? I was in ICU for nine days. I was in the hospital total for three months, three days. Wow, okay. So, and after you got back, you were actually told the likelihood you would be paralyzed. I was in a wheelchair when I left the hospital, and I expected to uh, stay in that wheelchair for my, the rest of my life. Okay, so your rehab doctor is, was, became ecstatic when you were actually able to start walking. So tell the people out there, what, uh, how has the YMCA helped you overcome some of these obstacles? I think the YMCA provides a, uh, a good atmosphere for rehabilitation, a good community of people that are all in the same boat of just trying to better themselves and uh, get better as a community, as well as providing specialized equipment. And you see here behind us, this is one of the part of the renovations going on now here at the Sageville Family YMCA. And I'm sure you'll be using this room too. And I see you back in the Nautilus room. So we wish you the best with that. Now, tell everybody, uh, what is, is key, do you think, when you're faced with this life-altering, you know, event? What, what, kept, what kept you motivated? I think what kept me motivated was uh, my three beautiful kids and just keeping the light at the end of the tunnel in my sights, never giving up and never succumbing to uh, depression or darkness. And now you have a new, new partner now? I do have a new uh, partner. A lovely lady. Yes. And your uh, her name is? Two stepchildren. Her name is Lauren Farmer. Lauren Farmer. And I've seen you out and about uh, enjoying downtown Statesville too. Yeah. But folks, this is not the end of the story. There's another amazing fit that happened here. Okay, so you were motivated. How long ago was this? You tried to take a DNA test. I, I did. I decided to take a DNA test on a uh, Black Friday whim in uh, November uh, 2016. And what did you find? You got a call or you got an email? or I did. I got the results after a few months. I got an email saying, uh, we've discovered a new, a new relative of yours, your mother. And so, oh, wow. So you were adopted. Yeah, and I you was had, adopted. You had no idea where your mother was. I had no idea where any of my biological family was. And wh where were they living at the time? They were living in uh, San Jose, California, as well as uh, Portales, New Mexico. And you found you had a, a little brother. I do have a little brother. And we're going to show a picture here. We, we'll dig up a picture. And you, you favor a lot. Yeah, we look, we look like twins. So what, what did you initially feel whenever you found out you... Had you always wanted to find your mom? I had always wanted to find her. And uh, many of the records had been destroyed. A lot of the back roads had been cut. And I'd really given up hope that it was ever going to happen. And uh, when I found this out, it was... Uh, it was just amazing because when we first talked, we were just instantly close, instantly best friends, instantly just mother and son relationship. So you, your mom was overjoyed to see you again? Yeah. She thought she'd never see you again. She, she had given up after I had turned 18. She thought that, uh, you know, maybe I would have access to the records. Maybe she would have access to her old uh, filings, but I didn't have access to any of that. 
And your your brother knew about your mom. I mean, your brother was in contact with your they mom? They had been in contact previously, yes, but uh, not for a long time. Okay, so there, there you go. So it's, it's a, this new DNA technology is amazing how it brings things together that you didn't previously. Have. And unfortunately, this was your stepfather that died later that father. night. That was not your stepfather, that was no, your father. That was my father. So you never got to meet your father. I never got to meet my father. So that is, a, so folks, it's, a, it's a, a lot of things have happened in Patrick's life, but what it inspires me is how you've, uh, you have overcome so much. And we're grateful. I'm grateful to have met you. And so what have you got planned now? You said you're, you're getting ready to change careers. I, I think uh, I'm going to pursue my love of uh, teaching. I started volunteering at ARS part-time and uh, fell in love with being in the classroom. And uh, that's just continued to cultivate. I still do that every day. And I uh, think I want to do it full-time. Do uh, a lot of kids want to know what happened to you? They do. They often ask uh, what happened to them. And they're often confused by the fact that my leg doesn't work. And I tell them I broke my neck. And it's hard for them to put that all together. Put all those things together. Okay. So I think you would do a big endorsement for the YMCA. You would be, re highly recommend becoming a member of the YMCA, I would think. Absolutely. It's That's changed my life That's significantly. Changed. So we thank you for all this, what Statesville Family YMCA does for folks like Patrick. And Patrick, I wish you the best moving forward. And I um, hope to see you in the gym again real soon. Thank you. Thank you, Patrick. If you haven't done it yet, go to svlfreenews.com to sign up for your email edition, which comes out every morning at 5 a.m. And if you haven't signed up, Patrick, I'm going to get you signed up. How about that? So you, right. you can check out the news. So thank you, and we'll see you again on SVL Free News and Views.